Hi, I'm Rod Imhoff, Key Account Manager at Chicago Pneumatic, and today I'm going to share with you the key features of the CP8613 C and CQ models. There are many features available for this tool. Specifically, we're going to focus today, like I said, on the C and the CQ model. Really, what we're going to do is we're going to connect it via Bluetooth to your iPad or your phone via our CP link, and then we're going to walk you through the steps on setting up some presets, which allows you to have presets in the tool and then also sequencing. And what is sequencing? Well, sequencing is when you have the ability to actually count every torque that it's doing. So in our job for class six and class eight uh, vehicle service, you're gonna have 10 wheel lug nuts. So it's gonna literally count every nut that you torque and I'll give you a display of the torque it does as well. And I'll show you that. I'm gonna show you how to do the setup for your phone in the app or your iPad, and then we'll go ahead and put it into practice. Chicago Pneumatics CP Link app is available to everybody and it's a free download so there's no charges there at all. Keep in mind the app can connect to multiple tools but each tool can only connect to one app. That way you can have one service manager having the app on their actual uh, laptop or on their phone but he can control multiple tools in the shop. So once you get on the opportunity in here and you go to get the app opened up you'll see the inside integration fleet. What you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna, in the CPLink app, you're gonna navigate to the fleet menu bottom at the bottom, you'll see four dots there in the lower left-hand corner. Those four dots, just click that. Then you'll click the plus sign in the lower right-hand corner. What you're doing is you're lighting up the, the Bluetooth and turning on the tool. It's gonna to start to detect the tools as you're seeing on this screen here. Once it detects the tool, it'll pull up the tool. You'll hit the plus sign on the tool that you're looking to detect and connect to your CP link. Should look like this. The tool is now added. Now, anytime you want to function inside of the tool itself, you're going to tap the tool itself that you see the arrow looking at now. And like I said, you can have multiple tools here, but also in the fleet menu, you can click on the right lower right hand corner in the settings, and this will begin your preset creation. So once you've selected the tool, you'll click the lower right hand corner. Then hit the plus sign in the middle that pops up, and that's how you're going to start to load your presets. Now, the next step is selecting your type of preset you want and to create, whether it be a torque or an angle, or if you want, you're even going to have the opportunity to have the sequencing. Now, keep in mind, sequencing is only available on the CQ model. It is not available on the C model and not available on your standard model either. So depending on which one you're looking for, this is the screen you will see. Let's say we're going to do the, the torque preset. That's the screen on the left-hand side. You're going to go down, you're going to click on the torque and toggle that button. You're going to name that torque setting. You can call it standard, you can call it 500, 475, whatever it is you want it, that you have the standard torque for the tool. Here they call it flange, we're going to, we, you can call it front wheel, you can call it rear wheel, whatever you want to. You'll then set the torque. Now keep in mind, in our industry, it's between 475 and 525 is the standard, but your company may have a, a different um, policy on what they, they torque at. Here's what I'm talking about. Now on the CQ model, that version, you'll see here where the arrow is pointing, that's where you can actually set the sequence. That allows you, so when you're doing your star pattern, it's gonna keep track of every torque that you're doing and making sure that you hit the number. So here you wanna hit the sequence button and toggle it to light it up and then you're gonna actually go ahead and put the input value of how many sequences you want. I think for this example, it does 12. Obviously, we would use 10. And then click the Add button in the lower part of the screen where the red arrow is pointing. You've now created the preset. So now it should be visible in your app. So what you'll do then, click your tool, open the setup, and now you're seeing the back screen of the tool. The tool has an in intuitive screen on the back, so it'll show you everything that's going on in the tool. Not only that, but it should be lighting up blue on both sides. And of course, this is a still shot, but you'll see blue lights on the back side showing that your tool is actually talking at this moment to the app itself. Here's you're going to open up the preset menu, click on your favorites button. That's the ones you just programmed. You're going to touch the plus where you want to add. It's going to pop up in the app what you actually have presets set up for. They're going to do the flange here. That's preset number one. You're going to see ours would be wheel and it would show 500 foot-pounds. You can change preset two and then you get a second preset and you can set up a third preset as well. 
This allows you to do multiple services with the tool itself. Now some shops are only going to use this tool for one application and they're going to use it strictly for wheel lug nuts and it's going to be set at 475 to 525 and they may have the sequencing model on there if that's what they're looking for. But not everybody's going to do that. Some shops are going to use this for other things. They, can, they might have a straight truck where they're going to need a little bit lower of a torque. They may have a, a yard hostler where they want a little lower torque. Who knows what they're going to have, but this is where you're going to have the options to have three presets in here. So once you have your presets established in the app, whether it be on your smartphone or your iPad, the app will then send those presets to the tool via Bluetooth. So once it's in the tool, you'll see in the back side of the screen of the tool itself. And I'll have this one set up with two presets. The first preset will show a sequencing and that's why it'll say times 10, it's counting up to 10 lug nuts. And underneath that, you'll see where it says 500 foot pounds. And that's the first one. And then here's the second one. You'll see there's no more 10X. So in my second preset, I'm not counting sequencing. It's just doing 500 foot pounds. But work for display purposes this time for demo. We're gonna go ahead and stay right here on number one. So you get the 10X and the 500 foot pounds. So here I'll show you the operation of the tool itself. Remember, this is a two-hand operation. You saw it in the last video. This is a safety feature that CP offers to ensure that the, the tech doesn't get their hand into a pinch point because this reaction bar is gonna pivot from side to side depending on if it's breaking the torque or setting the torque. I've got these nuts snugged and I've got it reset and we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this forward, set it 500 foot-pounds and I'm gonna squeeze the triggers and I want the motor to go ahead and run. The tool is gonna to do all of the effort. All I'm gonna do is manage the tool. Watch, you'll see no little movements, no shaking, no rutting, nothing like that. Here we go. You keep the triggers squeezed the entire time they're still squeezed but the tool lights up on the back side when it shuts off lights up green see how it says one of ten and it shows the foot pounds that we actually did and i had it set for 500 it says 503 so it's within that four, plus or minus four percent now as you go to do the star pattern and you start to walk your way around on the tool next one squeeze the trigger once again tool does all the work tool shuts itself off backs off the reaction arm so it comes right off. And here's the second one. And you'll see where it says two of 10 on the top, right here. And then you'll see where it says the torque. And it did 501. Now as you start to jump around this tire and doing your star pattern, you're gonna see it maintaining the right count. And this is number three. And once again, it's now showing three of 10. Like I said, remember the tool will light up green, show the torque you have set, and then the actual reaction arm will back off. So that it comes right off the tool, or the tool comes right off the tire rather, and can jump right back in. So it's gonna keep keeping the sequence. So as you're jumping around, doing your star pattern, doing all the way up, working your way around, and for time reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and skip over that portion. But let's say at the end, well, at least you think you're at the end, and you think you've got 10 of 10, and you think you're done, and the screen still says nine of 10. You've missed one, so you've got to go back around and find out which one you missed. But you know that you've got them all because eventually they'll say 10 of 10. How does it do that? Well, one, if you hit a nut that you've already torqued, it lights up red. Why does it light up red? Because it's a re-hit. It'll tell you it's already torqued that nut. So it's going to light up red. We were at 3 of 10. Look, it's still at 3 of 10. And now it tells you that it torqued it to 505. So that's where it's at. And that's basically how you do a torque check too with this tool. So if you have to do mandatory torque checks 24 hours later, maybe once every month, mandatory 100% torque check all over the, every piece of equipment you have in the yard, that's where that tool comes into play. You'll hit it every time it'll say red. If it were to say green, that means that nut wasn't torqued and it would count it. So that's how you do the, the 10 of 10. That's the importance of having that sequencing feature on the tool because it, like I said, it'll allow you to never miss every single nut because the sequencing feature will keep track for you. Presets and sequencing is just some of the features we have on the CP8613. Keep in mind, presets are on all the C model and the CQ model, but sequencing is only available on the CQ model. There are many other features that are also available on the C and the CQ model, so look for videos coming out in the future that'll depict all those features and how to operate them. Also, if you're interested in having a demo on your site with your techs, feel free to reach out to me. It's Rod Imhoff. It's rod.imhoff at cp.com is my email address. You can also get more information about the tool itself at cp86.cp.com. There will be plenty of information there as well. Thanks and have a great day and I appreciate your time.